The Plymouth Laser is one of three identical body styles offered by Chrysler and Mitsubishi. The Eagle Talon and Mitsubishi Eclipse are the other two, and aside from cosmetics, are virtually the same in every way. This is good news for buyers with brand loyalty, as the Laser is one of the strongest models in Chrysler's lineup. Co-built by Mitsubishi in normal Illinois, the Laser comes in four trim levels, Base, RS, RS Turbo, and RS Turbo AWD. Our test car is the AWD Turbo, which is propelled by an amazingly powerful 2-liter 16-valve four-cylinder engine with twin overhead camshafts and a turbocharger. You can order a 4-speed automatic transmission, but the 5-speed manual is a better choice. This engine bangs out an awesome 190 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, enough to send the car from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in just over 6 seconds. It even has decent fuel economy, 10.9 liters per 100 kilometers in the city and 7.7 .7 on the highway. The Laser starts at around $13,000, but our test RS all-wheel drive with all the bells and whistles stickers out at well over $20,000. And Chrysler have two basic warranties for this car. A one-year 20,000 kilometer bumper-to-bumper -bumper with seven-year powertrain, or a no-cost optional three-year 60,000 kilometer bumper-to-bumper -bumper with five-year powertrain. Although the body style of the Laser doesn't turn my crank, I do like the idea of getting rid of the pop-up headlights, and I can't argue with its performance. It goes like a bat out of hell. And surprise, has handling and braking abilities to match. It's what we like to call a very tossable automobile, which means it eats up tight corners with gusto and is an absolute ball through twists and turns. I was extremely surprised with the Laser's overall sense of balance and have to rank it right near the top in this market segment. Another nice surprise is ease of entry. Unlike many cars of this ilk, the Laser is simple to get in and out of. And ergonomics are likewise very good. I especially like the cockpit-style instrument panel with its easy-to-read gauges. In fact, there really isn't a lot to complain about. The shift mechanism is still a little on the clunky side, a problem the Laser shares with the Eagle Talon, by the way, and the gear ratio between third and fourth is too small. Fourth gear is shorter than it should be. Storage space in the hatchback section is terrible, mainly because the spare tire takes up all the room. And I also think the rear-view mirrors are too small with poor side visibility. The Laser is the kind of car that's at its best being driven with enthusiasm. It's not particularly good around town. But these are pretty trivial complaints. The Laser is a very good car and shows what can happen when North American and Japanese car manufacturers work together. The Laser's competition is mostly Japanese. The Honda Prelude, Isuzu Impulse, Nissan 240SX, Mazda MX-6, Toyota Celica and MR2 are all rivals, and so is Chrysler's own Eagle Talon. You could also add the Volkswagen Corrado and Ford Probe GT to the list. I think this is worth a full tank, Tony. Well, not quite, Ted, not quite. Let me say one thing. I love the look of this car. It's a great car in just about every way. It's got a really sweet engine. It's mm -hmm. a great interior, but mm -hmm. that gear shift is terrible. I How that could ever get out of the plant like that, I don't know. How the engineers could sit behind the wheel of one of these cars <laughs> and move that baseball bat in a barrel of coconuts gear shift leaf and say, Good day's work, guys. How, uh, I don't know. It's a mystery to me. I agree. It's not that good, but you've got to keep in mind the price tag of the car. You're getting a lot of car for the money. The shift mechanism is clunky, but it's worth putting up with when you consider the overall value of the car and what you're getting for it. I think it's, it's okay. You get used to it. But there are cars half the price of this one with, with better gear. I mean, you know, buy a Hyundai Excel and the gear shift is better than yeah, this. But, they don't, wheel drive but car. they don't have 190 horsepower. I also want to throw something not else. Not to do with the horsepower. Oh, sure it does. No, it doesn't. The overall car is what we're talking about here, right? No, and, the gear and, shift linkage. I'm talking about the overall value of the car, <laughs> and I think it's okay. Uh, something else I want to point out is uh, the Mitsubishi Eclipse is identical to this car in every way except for the badge. It outsells this, the Laser two to one, and that's a mistake on people's part. They think because it's Mitsubishi, it's Japanese, but it's exactly the same car as the Plymouth, and they should right. look at the Plymouth as well as the Mitsubishi because of the same car. Well, that's sure, but they've also got, they've all got the same gear shift linkage. But no, the, the car <laughs> is... Did it, did it bother you much? <laughs> I like what they've done with the lights. Let me be positive here. I love what they've done with the lights. They've got rid of those... I've always been against pop-up headlights. Mm -hmm. Something else to go wrong. They look awful when they're up. Mm -hmm. These lights look wonderful. They also work very well at night, trying mm. one at a very dark night, mm. work wonderfully. Mm. The car is great. It feels good. The engine is so nice. You know the old expression about spoiling a ship for a heap of the tar? Mm. Sure. With I'm not familiar with that particular one. But I, 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 let me just let me say, I do agree about the gear shift link, I, linkage. I think that the engineers should have spent more time on it. It's always been a problem with Chrysler, front drive Chrysler products, the shift linkage. They've never quite got it right. In this case, I'll put up with it because the car is so good that it's not worth making a fuss about, in my opinion. Well, I, I almost feel that I would rather buy an automatic. And the automatic, I have driven an automatic version of one of these uh, mm -hmm. products, and uh, they, it's very, very good indeed. You don't get that problem. And I suspect that a lot of people will buy an automatic. When you but a car that, that'll accelerate that fast and has such a sweet engine.
engine. Mm. I mean, if you're going to get all that power with the automatic, it's not going to rob it of its power. That's right. Anyway, we've got to go with the red light, green light. Red light, the shift mechanism, well, we don't like it much. Mirrors are too small. Rear storage is taken up by a spare tire, almost nothing back there. Performance, excellent performance. Tossability factor, a ball to drive. The engine, sweet. I also want to put in an amber light here. We had a lot of problems getting information on this particular product, as we usually do with Chrysler, and it leads me to think that if we have problems getting information, the customers are going to have problems as well. Nonetheless, I still give it a full tank driving dollar value, even though that gear shift was not what it could be. Well, it wouldn't get a full tank from me, Ted, with the gear shift the way it is. Okay, stay with us. We'll be right back. It's Auto Info with Dan.